I love transforming islands in Minecraft. Whether it's a tiny little island with a single structure on it, a medium sized island with all your essential survival builds, or a large island with a full village transformation or ultimate base inside. Islands are just so much fun to build on. It's one of the few times in Minecraft you can actually say your builds are done. Once you put that last little bit of detail on that island, you can just walk away. There's nothing quite like it. And today we're working on a super rare and awesome little island off the coast. The Mushroom Island. Look at this cute little thing. The second I saw it, I knew I had to transform it. It also has just one little mushroom cow. Now I want this island to have all the essentials you need to survive. So for that, I'm gonna need a living area, smelting, farms, animal pens, enchanting table, and storage. And now we're gonna get it started with a small dockside area. There's gonna be two tiers for this. Now it's gonna be one for small boats and one for larger boats to arrive. We added our first crop area with some wheat and walled it off with some moss and some mossy cobble. And then I started to terraform the grounds, adding some moss and some coarse dirt paths around the island so we know exactly where we're gonna be putting the new structures. I wanted to keep some mycelium so I didn't add any grass or dirt because it's gonna get spread over. Also, I'm gonna be keeping these mushrooms for now, but we will be terraforming them later. Then I started adding some shape to the island so it looks a little bit better. And then now on the left hand side, we're gonna be starting our animal pen. I'm gonna be starting out with a mossy and mossy cobble base. And then I'm gonna be adding some white blocks like smooth quartz, white mushroom stem, and also a little bit of diorite. There is a spruce trim and also some red blocks like red mushroom, red terracotta, and concrete for the roof. And now we're getting rid of all the mushrooms and we're gonna focus on the enchanting station. I made it look a little bit like a gazebo by adding also the same blocks we did with the animal pen. And then I added a carrot farm in the back but then it is time to start our big mushroom house. I added a bamboo door with some spruce trim, then I lifted up the mushroom with some smooth quartz, mushroom stem, diorite, and white concrete powder. I popped out a few smaller mushrooms on the side and worked on the main mushroom cap. The cap is made out of red terracotta, red concrete, red mushroom, and also some smooth quartz and diorite for those spots. I wanted to make it a bit more organic, so I did add some leaves, some moss, and also some glow berries on the bottom of that cap. I added some bamboo, tiki torches, some sugar cane, and then I finished it off with some custom brown mushrooms and a couple palm trees. Why not? Man, this place turned out so good. I added this tiny little boat here in the front, and as we walk around here, everything is looking ultra detailed. I added some fishing rods, some flower pots, the big uh, jug, what is it, the big vase? Whatever that's called, but also in the animal pen, I have two of every uh, needed animal uh, but also a small fishing dock in the back i used some of those signs as railings and then a lovely path to go all the way around into our enchanting station which i have a couple goodies hidden in there as well but check this out what do you guys think of this awesome mushroom island transformation i think it looks pretty cool also there's going to be a link in the description if you want to download this world it's going to be on patreon or on the youtube supporter side but why don't we take a closer look at all the cool stuff that I built. So right here with this awesome little fishing boat, if you notice right here we have the paddles from the raft here popping out on the side and have some jungle trap doors here on the corner, which looks pretty cool. It looks like actually the raft paddle is coming through right there, which is pretty nice. Little details that you might not have noticed while we were building this thing on the time lapse. If you notice down here, we have a little bit more of this muddy mangrove and mud here at the bottom. You would think it would have accumulated over time down here under the dockside area. It looks pretty spooky down there too. I added a couple dead bush as well with some torch flowers. I added as much flower action as possible, but we added a bunch of the new ones like the pitcher plant and also the torch flower. A bunch of the pink petals all around the grounds. I think a chicken just laid an egg in there. But little details like this right here the scaffold as the window with some bamboo trapdoors as the shutter. Little bamboo accents all over the place like the boat, the front door, the light trims around the side. Besides coarse dirt, I did add a little bit of rooted dirt here just to break it up a little bit. A lot of moss and mossy cobble around here on the shoreline. And just like around the side, we put a little bit of muddy mangrove and mud around the outside edges. This small dock area is not just a fishing dock or if you want to park your little raft here on the side. But I love these railings here with these new signs. So cool. Of course, we have the old school campfire block as well, just to give you that added detail. But I love this little dock. It looks cool. And if you did notice, every single spot where these mushroom stems were are exactly the spots where the old mushrooms were. I just made them look a little bit cooler here with a nice little tippy top to the cap. Besides that, the tiki torches just look so good in an island setting. The gazebo enchanting station. Man, I love making gazebos for enchanting stations and also putting them down on the ground right here. You have all this space to walk around and it's not all just up in the top layer. And you do get a full level 30 if you're surrounded like this. Of course, you have to dig it down once, but over here, I did add some books, some lapis, 
and then just to show you, yep, you get a full level 30. And if you download the world, uh, you're gonna go ahead and spawn right in this area as well. This is where I set spawn. Of course, I'm gonna put the seed and the coordinates in the description if you guys wanna try to see if you can build something like this in this same spot. If you do build stuff around here, send me pictures. I'd love to see what you do with this island. But of course, we have to have overgrown everywhere. So I did add some of these glow berries and azalea bushes on the top. Of course, a spore blossom to get that particle effect. It's very magical in here. And then walking around the side, we have another crop area over here. Extra storage on the outside bits. And then my favorite part is actually the bottom of this mushroom cap. Look at those glow berries with the shaders. It just looks so cool. I did spring out a couple extra mushroom bits here on the side bits. The bigger it gets, the more organic it turns. Like this one's similar to this smaller one over here, but then this one gets a little bit more shape to it because it got bigger. And eventually they might grow as big as this bad boy. This actually took a little bit of time to get that right shape. And I think the shape turned out pretty nice. The best advice I can give if you're gonna build a mushroom like this on your own is to actually start from outlining it from the stem. Building it up is kind of simple. You just kind of curve it around in your own way. But right here, the hardest part is the actual cap. What I started with is some lines going from each direction. So one on this side, one from this end, one on this corner, and then one from that end. So it looks like a little bit of a cross. And then from here, you kind of go with an organic circle-like shape. I started out with just some regular red concrete and I spinned it around until I got an organic looking circle. From there, I just started building it up, started curving it to certain sides. It just takes a while. You just have to break blocks and shape it with just one color at the beginning and then texture it after once you're happy with the shape. For the bottom of the cap, I like to use light colors. So I did go with some birch and some oak and then some overgrown bits with some moss so then I can hang some of these lovely leaves from it to make it look a little bit more cottage core. The hanging lights look cool also with the chains and I think it just sets it off perfectly adding that last little bit of detail I did. And of course, I had to add some palm trees uh, since it's a little bit of a tropical fantasy like island. And you're probably wondering, Sausage, where's the mushroom? It's inside. Hi, <laughs> there you are. No, don't leave. This is your home now. <laughs> we need a name for this mushroom. Name the mushroom in the comment section right now. But I made this place look very cottage core and relaxing. Ah, oh, it looks so cool, right? You like a mushroom, don't you? Ah, oh, they're about to have lunch. But we have some seating on the side, some storage on this side, and one of my favorite armor trims. This right here is netherite with some of the silenced trim, top to bottom, using redstone for that lining. It looks like it definitely belongs inside this mushroom. So to round off that checklist, we're really only missing a couple things because we do have the enchanting, we have the animal pen, we have the farms, and now we have the living area. Right here, we have a lovely bedroom. Over here, we got plenty of storage. And right here, this is our kitchen. We have all of our smelting right here on this side. We also have some brewing, which I didn't add to that checklist, but you know what? That's extra credit. And of course, on the inside, we also have the hanging bushes, four blossoms, roots, glow berries, and it just looks really cool. So this definitely counts as an ultimate Minecraft base. It has everything you need to survive. But I think we did pretty cool. Let me know if you guys wanna see more transformations like this, and if you wanna see it in any other styles. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you wanna see more. But I'll catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.